Good morning, YouTubers, friends, followers, but many of the subscribers on this channel, because you're the ones that are probably the most important people on this channel, not me. Right, should have done a confession yesterday. I was completely snowed under with loads of things. So here we have confession number four. Right, people. I believe the year was 2005. I'm in, um, I'm in Asia and I'm doing uh, stuff in the jungle. Now today, what I'm not going to mention two of the guys I was with because one of them is still a serving member of the armed forces and in the United Kingdom Special Forces, so I can't mention his name. However, we had been out on the ground in the jungle and it's quite hard going. It is hard going. You come back in, you've got a beard, your fingers are ingrained, you've got you've got to get yourself cleaned up. So we got ourselves cleaned up after coming back in, getting off the helicopter. And obviously, obviously the way it works in the armed forces is whenever you come in off the ground or you come into camp, believe it or not, the first thing you must carry out, truthfully, is weapon cleaning. Your weapon is the most important part of, it's an extension of your body. So weapons cleaned into the armory, started getting all washed, did all our admin, batteries changed, as you know, rationed on, water replaying, clean clothes all going all. And then we decided to put on what we would call our our civvies. So we put on our shorts and our t-shirt, our little baseball caps, and we headed down into the local little town. Now the weird thing is, you can either walk to the town or get a taxi. Taxis are quite cheap. So we walked down, we got to see the area, and we got into the place. And I remember uh, we were off the following day. It was a it was a relaxing time. So the three of us went and the, the shops sold noodles, different types of flavoured tuna. Back in 2005, different types of flavoured tuna hadn't even come in the UK yet. Couldn't believe the different types of flavoured tuna. It was beautiful. And they go well with rations out in the jungle with your noodles and stuff. So we bought loads. We, we all stocked up. Now, we then went to this uh, pool, a pool and snooker club which was upstairs, top floor. And we went in, there's all these different tables. It was really, really good. We had a couple of beers, we chilled out. We noticed a couple of girls staring at us. Don't jump to conclusions. I remember thinking, she's uh, she's quite nice. We were all thinking, yeah, she's quite nice. On the way, we drunk our beers and we headed down and we started walking back towards camp. And a car pulled up beside us. And these beautiful looking women were in the car. And I was like, hmm, would you, would you like a lift back to camp? We're going that way. And I'm like, a lift back to camp? It's about a mile and a half away. I thought, yeah, 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 yeah. So the two guys got in the back seat. Bearing in mind, there was a woman driving, one in the back seat and one in the passenger seat. And I went to get in the back seat. And all I could think of was, where am I going? The girl in the passenger seat decided to open her door. You can sit with me in the front. I'm looking at the guys in the back and their faces. First of all, one of them is like. He knew. He knew. The other one is gullible and he's like, <laughs> this is great. I got in the front seat. We were driving and the girls were flirting with us. We must have drove about 300 metres and I said, pull the car over. Pull, listen, can, can we stop? Can we stop? I need to get out. And the guys in the back were going, well, what's wrong? I said, just pull it. Stop the car. Stop the car. And I got out and I walked off. And I said, guys, come on, we're going to walk from here. And I walked off. The car pulled up and, and I was broken. I was a broken man. I started walking off by myself in a different direction. And they were like, what's up, what's up, what's up? And I was like, you're not gonna believe this. That girl put her hand on my leg and then someone got an erection in the front seat and the boys were like, what's wrong with that? I said, it wasn't my erection. I can tell you that now. And they couldn't stop laughing. So here's the moral of the story. See women that look stunning and you think they look like women, always check. Don't be gullible. Like me. Well, there we go, people. That is my fourth confession. More to come tomorrow. Take care. Stay safe.